Alright, hello everybody, welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be going over the Sears and Roebuck and Kmart stores that are not currently liquidating. So, as of Friday, February 5th, 2021, there are currently 24 Kmarts that are not currently liquidating, and 36 Sears and Roebuck stores that are also not currently liquidating. Combine the number of two stores together, and you get approximately 60 uh, non-liquidating Sears and Kmart stores. I'm sorry, Sears, Ro Sears and Roebuck and Kmart stores. So, these are the following Kmart stores that are not currently liquidating. So, the Kmart in Guam, which is the most western one in, in, in a United States territory, and it's only one location. So, yeah, the other Kmarts that are closing, I mean, sorry, the other Kmarts that are not closing, it's approximately four uh, in the state of California, which includes the Kmart in Costa Mesta, California, the Kmart store in Freedom, California, the Kmart store in Grass Valley, California, and the Kmart store in South Lake Tahoe, California. Now we move to the east coast, uh, the southernmost part of the east coast of the United States, uh, which is the state of Florida. So it's approximately like California for uh, non-liquidating Kmart stores in the state of Florida which includes the Kmart store in Key Largo, Florida, Key West, Florida, Marathon, Florida, and Miami, Florida. In the state of Michigan, it's one, the Marshall, Michigan, which is the last Kmart store in the state of Michigan. And then in my home state of New Jersey, uh, we have the Kmart in Avenal, New Jersey, which is located in Middlesex County, New Jersey, the Kmart store in Kearney, New Jersey, which is located in Hudson County, New Jersey, and the Kmart store in Westwood, New Jersey, which is located in Bergen County, New Jersey. So in the state of New York, we have approximately uh, four. New Jersey has three as the Belleville one is, uh, is closing as of uh, Thursday, February 4th, 2021, which is when which is when they started liquidation sales uh, at that location. The Kmart store in Bridgehampton, New York, which is the last Kmart store on Long Island, and it is the only Kmart store uh, in Suffolk County. And there are two Kmart stores in the Bronx. Um, one of the stores in the Bronx is a two-level Kmart store, and it's I think it's only one of two two-level Kmart stores left in the state of New York. Um, and there's the Kmart store also in the Bronx, uh, located near the Mall at Bay Plaza. In New York City, it's the Kmart store in Lower Manhattan, which is near the so so Soho neighborhood of New York City. Um, the Kmart store near Penn Station did close uh, earlier last year. And in Westchester County, the Kmart in White Plains, New York, is the last Kmart store in the Hudson Valley and in Westchester County. In Puerto Rico, there is only one Kmart store left, which is in Hato Rey, Puerto Rico. And on the Virgin Islands, it's two of them, which are both located in St. Croix's Virgin Islands. And there are also two Kmart stores uh, in St. Thomas, which is also located uh, on the Virgin Islands. So it's about a mix of a couple of Kmart stores scattered across the country, and some of them along the coast, mostly along the west coast of the United States and along the east coast of the United States. Now moving on to Sears and Roebuck. Sears and Roebuck is a little bit more spread out than, say, Kmart, um, but I don't know how much longer this is going to last, and we'll go over what the future holds for this company after we go over the Sears and Roebuck stores that are not liquidating as of now. In the state of Louisiana, which does not have a single Kmart store left, the last Sears and Roebuck store in the state of Louisiana is in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is the capital um, of the state of Louisiana. The Sears and Roebuck store at Frederick, Maryland, which is the last Sears and Roebuck store, Sears and Roebuck store in the state of Maryland. Uh, Sears and Roebuck has approximately five, uh, eight locations left in the state of California. I think it's the most. Uh, Sears and Roebuck stores left in the state of California. It includes Burbank, California. Co I'm sorry, Sears and Roebuck in Burbank, California. Sears and Roebuck in Concord, California. Sears and Roebuck in Downey, California. Sears and Roebuck in Long Beach, California. And Sears and Roebuck in Pasadena, California. Also, Sears Rancho Chucamanco in California. Sears Stockton, California. And Sears Witter, California. So approximately eight non-liquidating Sears and Roebuck stores uh, are left in the state of California. In Maryland, it's the Sears and Roebuck store in Frederick, Maryland, and in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Sears and Roebuck in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is the capital of the state of Louisiana. Now moving to the east coast of Florida, we have approximately four Sears and Roebuck stores left in the state of Florida. Sears and Roebuck in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Sears Merritt Island, Florida, Sears Orlando, Florida at the Florida Mall, and the Sears and Roebuck store at the Palm Beach Gardens Mall 
in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. So it's approximately four Sears and Roebuck stores left in the state of Florida. Now, the, the only Sears and Roebuck store left in the state of Hawaii is in Kalahuhu, Hawaii, which, if I'm correct, we'll actually zoom in here real quick, it's actually not located on Honolulu. It's located uh, on, the island, on the island of Maui, which is the only Sears and Roebuck store left in the state of Hawaii. Whoop. Did not mean to do that. Whoa. Okay. Anyways, so getting back to the uh, remaining Sears and Roebuck stores and Kmart's left. Uh, in Chicago, Illinois, which at one point was the headquarters for Sears and, Ro Sears and Roebuck, and also the Sears Tower, which is no longer called the Sears Tower, uh, Chicago Ridge, Illinois, and Sears Shaw Hamburg, Illinois, which is located at the Woodfield Mall. The last two in the state of Illinois at the time when Sears and Roebuck had their headquarters uh, in the state of Illinois. And ironically enough, there's only one Kmart store left in Michigan, which at one time that was where Kmart's first store was, was located in the state of Michigan. So in Massachusetts, it's approximately three Sears and Roebuck stores left within Braintree, Massachusetts, Brockton, Ma I'm sorry, Sears and Roebuck in Braintree, Massachusetts, Sears and Roebuck in Brockton, Massachusetts, and Sears and Roebuck in Ma Marlboro, Massachusetts. In Michigan, there's only one Sears and, Roebuck, Sears and Roebuck store left in the state of Michigan, which is located in Westland, Michigan, which ironically enough, there is one Kmart store left in Michigan, as I just said before. And also Illinois, if I didn't say it already, Sears and Roebuck, Chicago Ridge, Illinois, and Sears and Roebuck, Shaw Hamburg, Illinois, which is located uh, at the Woodfield Mall. So sadly, in my home state of New Jersey, uh, the only Sears and Roebuck store left in the state of New Jersey is the Sears and Roebuck store at the Newport Center Mall in Jersey City, New Jersey. And in the state of New York, it's approximately now three Sears and Roebuck stores in the state of New York that are not liquidating, which does include the iconic uh, Brooklyn, New York store, which was similar at, at the time to the downtown Hackensack store, uh, Massapequa, New York, which is located at Sunrise Mall, New York, the Sears and Roebuck store at Sunrise Mall, Massapequa, New York, and the Sears and Roebuck store uh, left in Newburgh, New York, which is located at the Newburgh Mall, and it's the last Sears and Roebuck store uh, left in the Hudson Valley and upstate New York as well. There's not any other Sears and, Sears and Roebuck store left in upstate New York. And the Sears and Roebuck store in Brooklyn, New York is a very interesting one too, uh, as that one has a tower, but a little bit of a different version of the tower, say, than the one that was built in downtown Hackensack, New Jersey, which is now closed, by the way. So moving on to North, moving on to North Carolina, the Sears and Roebuck store in Greensboro, North Carolina, and the Sears and Roebuck store in Raleigh, North Carolina, are the last two Sears and Roebuck stores uh, in the state of North Carolina. In the state of Pennsylvania, there are only three Sears and Roebuck stores left. Uh, there are no longer any Kmart's left in the state of Pennsylvania uh, after this close closure. So the Sears and Roebuck stores left in the state of Pennsylvania are Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which is the capital of the state of Pennsylvania, Me Sears and Roebuck in Media, Pennsylvania, and Sears and Roebuck at the Willow Grove Park Mall in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. In Puerto Rico, it's it's the only, there's only one left. It's the Sears and Roebuck store in in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and in and in Texas, the only Sears and Roebuck store or Kmart or Sears and Roebuck store left in Texas is the one is the Sears and Roebuck store located in uh, El Paso, Texas. And finally, we get down to some more Sears and Roebuck stores um, left, uh, being the Sears and in, in the state of Washington. Uh, to Kalawaya, Washington, and Union Gap, Washington, which is the which is the Sears and Roebuck store in Tukalai, Washington, and the Sears and Roebuck store in Union Gap, Washington. Uh, in Colorado, the only Sears and Roebuck store left in the state of Colorado is Thornton, Colorado, the Sears and Roebuck store located in Thornton, Colorado. And finally, there is one additional location in Florida, so it's actually five Sears and Roebuck stores uh, located in the state of Florida, the Sears and Roebuck store located in uh, Miami, Florida. So again, about 60, about 60 combined Sears and Kmart stores, with 24 of the stores being Kmart stores and 36 being Sears and Roebuck stores. So the question does come down to what is the future, what's going to happen with this next round of closings, and what do we see in the future for Sears and Roebuck and Kmart? I think this is on everybody's mind right now. So I'm going to be very blatant with the answer. The future for Sears and Roebuck and Kmart is liquidation. The reason I say that, they're down to about 60 stores. If you have seen the pattern that has been going on for the past couple of months, they've been quietly trickling in uh, some store closing lists, 
and they've been closing stores left and right. The last list was about 20, so they're down from 80 to 60. So the fact that they closed 20 more stores, um, the fact that they announced 20 more stores to close by April 2020, um, can pretty much uh, put us put ourselves in the position of saying that there is going to be probably three more lists, maybe four, depending on if they want to throw a little small one in there. Um, but I can't imagine they'll do that since Heritage Growth Properties was sold off. Um, but my prediction is we're going to be seeing three more lists. And the reason I say that is because um, you have 60 and you can break up 60 into 20 different, uh, you can break up 60, um, you could split it up into threes. So I could see Sears and Roebuck closing another store in the next three to four months, followed by another closing in the next three to four months, and then finally the last closing in the next three to four months. That's it, the end, Sears and Kmart are done. The reason that I'm making this prediction is because there is no future for Sears or Kmart. There's no future for, to work at Sears and Kmart. It's At this point, it's just about the real estate. It's the, there, There's no exciting things anymore at Sears or Kmart. They're literally, there's only a handful of them left in the United States and including the territories of the United States. Uh, so is there a future for the company? No. The Sears and Kmart do not have a future at all whatsoever. Even if Kmart is deemed by the United States government as an essential retailer, Sears and Kmart are just done. It's just, the plan has worked so well for Eddie Lampert. He has destroyed so many jobs and so many livelihoods. And, you know, this adds on to the burden of already the global pandemic of all the other retailers that are closing. But we know the game plan. Sears and Kmart have been struggling for years um, before the pandemic hit back back early last year in 2020. Um so in the end, there is no future for Sears or Kmart. There is no future whatsoever. The only future is liquidation. And you can even see it posted on jobs.sears.com. It's literally just them hiring people to liquidate the stores and also to make sure that people don't film inside the stores as they're liquidating. So there is no future for Sears or Kmart. Um, it's over. It's, it's, I would say my prediction now, and I could totally be wrong about this, uh, we will see about three more rounds of closings, and that will be it. We'll see, and and obviously it will be spaced out to give SB360, which is the liquidation company liquidating the Sears store, Sears and Roebuck stores, and the Kmart stores, enough time to finish up liquidation sales at a certain number of locations, and then move on to the next round of Sears and Roebuck stores. But at this point, there's only going to be about three more rounds. So I would say another round in April, and then if we go another three to four months, probably in one more round in the summer and then probably one round in the fall, and that will be it for Sears and Kmart. That is my prediction now. Um, I think it will probably, that's probably what's most likely going to happen, and I believe that Sears and Roebuck and Kmart uh, will be done by the end of 2021. Again, it's only about three more lists that they have to do, and then the company is done as a whole. And I could also see them closing Sears Home and Life and closing any other properties that have the Sears or Kmart name on them. But I do think the names are somewhat valuable, so maybe they'll be revived as an online retailer. But at this point, I think it is very unlikely, considering there's just way too much competition and they're better off just preserving it as a historical uh, retailer uh, back in the day. So, But it's a shame that it's come down to this and, you know, Eddie Lampert has put profits over people. He only cares about milking on the real estate. That, that's all he cared about. That was the game plan, was to milk on the real estate, sell off the properties, and screw the people working inside the stores. That was the game plan, and the game plan has worked out so well for him. And not only that, but before I end this, the pandemic has actually accelerated that process, believe it or not. So the pandemic, I guess, in a way is a good thing because then the Sears and Kmart workers don't have to be in misery, but... Like I said, it's 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 there. There is no future for Sears or Kmart, and if anyone is working at these stores um, that are not liquidating right now, the ones that I just listed, uh, you should probably get out now before your store closes and look for other job opportunities elsewhere. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, elaborate video about Sears and Kmart and the future of it and the non-liquidating stores. Again, if you want to see the entire list of this map, I will be putting the link located in in the description below for you guys to watch and see. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. All right, so guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And what are your thoughts about these non-liquidating Sears and Kmart stores? Make sure to leave that uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that will be it.